Emily, a student nurse from UNE. I'm here to do your head to toe assessment. Can you just confirm your name and date of birth for me, please? Alexis Ferrier, 64 2000. Okay. And it is confirmed in your wrist scan. And do you happen to know where you are? Uh, better for me. Okay, and do you know what day it is? Tuesday. Perfect. So the patient is alert, awake, and oriented times three, the person, place, and time. Are you in any pain at all? I'm not. Okay, good. And before we start the assessment, I have three words I want you to remember to test your short-term memory. Um, and they are green dog pie. Can you repeat those, please? Green dog pie. Okay, nice job. Okay, so I'm going to start with palpating and uh, inspecting your scalp. And I don't see any bumps. And I'm checking. There is no discolorations or lesions. Okay. The scalp looks good. Now I'm going to palpate behind the ears. Please let me know if there's any discomfort at all. And now to test your hearing, I'm going to stand behind you and do a whisper test. So I'm going to whisper a couple of different words and I want you to repeat them back to me, okay? Okay. All right. Ocean. Ocean. Plant. Plant. Okay, nice job. All right. And before you put your glasses back on, I'm going to palpate your sinuses. Just let me know if there's any discomfort at all. Nope. All right, so the sinuses are non-tender, and now I am going to assess your pupils. So I'm going to put my hand here, and you're just going to shine a light in your eyes. Okay, and now if you could follow the pen light as it comes closer to your face. All right, so the pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light, and they accommodate appropriately. And now I'm going to test your peripheral vision, if you could please cover one of your eyes. So let me know when you see the pen light come into your field of vision. Yes. 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 Okay, can you switch eyes? Yes. 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 Okay, so the patient can see well in all six fields of vision. And now I am going to look in your nose. So if you could please put your head back a little and close your eyes so I don't blind you with the light. All right, mucous membranes appear to not be too dry and I don't see any redness or discolorations. And then if you could open your mouth, please, and say, ah. Uh. All right, there's no redness and it doesn't appear to be swollen um, and it looks good. And then now I am going to palpate, or first inspect your neck. Looking at your neck, I don't see any discolorations at all. And then before I palpate, would you mind moving your head side to side? Okay, I don't notice any neck vein distension. Can you look up at the sky and then down and put your chin to your chest? Okay, and then can you put your ear to your shoulder on either side? Is there any discomfort at all? Nope. Okay, the movement range of motion is good. All right, now I am going to um, first auscultate your carotid arteries. Pulse is regular and two plus and equal bilaterally. And I'm going to palpate. Okay. And the carotid artery doesn't appear to have any deformities. Um, and now I'm going to palpate your throat. Can you please swallow? Okay. Your throat is in the middle and it's non deviated. So that's good. And then now we're going to move on to listening to your heart sounds. So for the video, I'm just listening on top of her shirt, but in a clinical setting, I'll be listening um, more skin to skin or stethoscope to skin. Okay, her heart sounds were 
regular. I didn't hear any murmurs um, or arrhythmias. And the, the S1 and S2 noted in all five listening points for the heart. Now I'm going to listen to your lung sounds. So if you could take a deep breath each time I place the stethoscope on you. Good, and again. And on the side over here. To your other side. Perfect, and then if you could lean forward a little, I'm gonna listen on your back. Okay, lung sounds were clear and equal bilaterally. I didn't hear any wheezing, rails, or crackles. Okay, and then now I'm going to ask if you could um, put up your hands a little bit. I'm gonna check your cap refill, your fingers. You know, it's less than three seconds, that's within the normal range. And then if you could please flip your hands over, I'm gonna check your pulses. Okay, so they're equal bilaterally and regular, and the pulse is two plus. And then if you could close your eyes for a moment, can you feel this? Yes. All right, I'm gonna turn your hands over. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes again. And then if you could please um, put your hands up and then you're gonna touch each finger to your thumbs and just go back and forth with both hands. All right, nice job. And then if you could put your hands down like this and then flex your biceps. Nice job. And then can you rotate your wrists and then rotate the other way. Nice. And then when you put your hands down again, we're going to do a patty cake. So as fast as you can, keep going like this. Nice. All right. And then um, the skin appears to be warm, dry, and intact. I didn't notice any lesions at all. And now we're gonna move on to your lower extremities. If you could please move so your legs are dangling off the bed. So I'm going to check your pulses first. Okay, pulses are regular and equal bilaterally, plus two. And then I'm gonna ask you if you could wiggle your toes. And then can you rotate your ankles? And the other way too. Nice job. And then can you push up against my fingers? And then can you push down? Okay. And then are you able to stomp your legs almost? Like, there you go. All right, range of motion appears to be good. Your pulses are regular and two plus. And there's no noticeable edema. Okay. Now, for the next assessment is your abdomen. Would you mind lying down again, please? So before I perform the assessment, do you know when your last bowel movement was? Yes, a few hours ago. Okay, and how would you describe the consistency? Normal. Normal? Okay, and what about, when was the last time you urinated? About 30 minutes ago. Okay, and how was the color and the clarity? I would say pale yellow and clear. That's good. Okay, and have you had any recent changes to your diet at all? Nope. And you've been tolerating it okay? Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift up your shirt a little bit just to inspect your abdomen. Abdomen appears to be non-distended and with no discoloration. And now I'm going to listen to your abdomen for bowel sounds. Okay, bowel sounds were heard in all four quadrants and they were normal reactive. And I'm going to palpate lightly at first and then deeper. Please let me know if there's any discomfort or pain at all. Okay. So first lightly. Okay, now a little deeper. How was that? Good. Okay. You can go ahead and sit up again. So 
Yeah. Were you dizzy at all throughout any of the movement? Nope. Okay, so you can go ahead and stand up. We're gonna test your coordination, balance, and gait. So first I'm gonna have you walk toward me in a single file line, heel to toe. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna turn around. And then stand with your feet about shoulder width apart and then close your eyes. All right, that's good. Your balance is great and so is your gait. And then if you could turn a little bit away from me, I'm gonna ask if you could bend to touch your toes. I'm gonna to check your spine. I'm just gonna need you to lift up your shirt a little bit. Okay. All the vertebrae appear to be aligned. And then if you could take a deep breath for me, please. Okay, that's good. And your shoulders are symmetrical. All right, your spine looks good. You go ahead and take a seat again. Um, do you happen to remember those three words I mentioned at the beginning of the assessment? Cream pie dog. Nice job. Okay, and throughout the assessment, I've noticed that her skin is dry and intact and warm. Um, and I didn't notice any lesions. Is there any that I forgot? No. Okay, sounds good. You can go ahead and get comfortable. Just giving you your call bell. You Thank can ring you. it if you need anything. Your bed is low and your bed rails are up. Um, can I get you anything else before I go? Nope. All right, I'll check in on you shortly. Thank you. You're welcome.